Hey everyone, thank you for joining me for this video. I'm excited about this eye tutorial. It's kind of inspired by the shirt I have on, which has like some orange and blue in it. So um, it's kind of like an orange on the lid, blue for the liner and sort of the smoky effect. So I think it's a good look for summer or really any time of year. Even if you're not wearing those shades, you of course don't always have to match your eyeshadow to your outfit, but sometimes it's your outfit that just inspires you to do certain things like this tutorial for me. So uh, if you want to see how I put it all together keep on watching first step I'm gonna take my uh, coastal sense creative me palette and I'm gonna use this kind of uh, pretty metallic peachy orange shade and by the way this is the creative me number two palette from coastal sense and I'm just gonna get some of that on my elf eyeshadow brush just any kind of regular flat eyeshadow brush will do kind of look down into my mirror and pack on that shade. Um, if you want more of like a sheer peachy look, just do a little bit. Otherwise, it's really buildable. So like I'm gonna go back and put a little more on and you can see that it's really building up to be like a nice peachy orange color. Once you've built up uh, your desired level of color there on the lid, I'm going to take this um, right up from the peaches, this coppery shade right here in the palette, and I'm going to use my Smashbox number 15 brush. It's kind of like a wider crease brush. Get a little bit of that copper on there and just apply that to the crease. So that's it's going to be deeper than your orange and it's still gonna have like kind of a metallic look, but I just wanna use it kind of to get the color a little more intense there in the crease. And just kind of use, you know, windshield wiper motions back and forth to blend that. And then I'm gonna take a larger brush. I'm gonna use my Smashbox number 10 brush, just a really full brush with no product on it and just use that to kind of blend it out further all along the edge. From there, I'm just going to apply a really light highlight shade. I'm gonna use this color from NYX and it's called My Favorite Color. And you can see it's got kind of like that pearly light sheen to it. So um, you could pack the, a shade like this on, like for example, if you put it on your lid you could get a really light shimmery color. But for this, we're using a really fluffy brush just to get a wash of light color up Next there. I'm going to pull out this color from Glam Couture. Isn't it gorgeous? It's a shade called Mystery and is just a beautiful blue eyeshadow. And so I'm going to use my uh, medium size crease brush from in that it's the larger of the two in the Essence of Beauty crease brush duo. You can find that at CVS. And just get some on the brush there, kind of looking down. And I'm putting this in the crease. And it's basically like you're going to get sort of a just a deep color there. It's going to just look like your your crease has a deeper contour to it. But as you get out to the outer V area, I think the blue is going to show up a little more. So just continue to get more on your brush and kind of work up from the outer corner and kind of down from the top so you can kind of start to establish that uh, outer V there. So there you go. As you can see, as you continue to build up the color, you get more of that bluish tone. And the sparkle on this, um, I don't know if, this, if you think this is a good thing or a bad thing, but the, a lot of this sparkle doesn't necessarily come through on the look. Like you may get a little bit, but um, unless you absolutely pack this on, you're not necessarily going to get like that kind of a look. So just keep that in mind. Uh, next, I'm going to take a navy blue cream shadow. This is from Smashbox, and it's the Jet Set Waterproof uh, Eyeliner in Midnight Blue. And I'm just going to take a smallish brush like this. I think this one came from Coastal Sense. There's no like label on it, so I don't quite remember. But just take any small liner brush you like to use, and really any cream liner will do that's like a navy shade. And I'm just going to line all the way across my upper lash line. I'm just going to kind of start in the middle here just to sort of get it going. And then I'll start, you know, bringing it into the inner corner here. And I'm trying to keep my line fairly thin so I don't cover up too much of the orange that we've got on the lid. Now as I get to the outer corner, I'm making it a lot thicker and I'm building it up in that outer V. You can kind of see there it's starting to blend in with the blue shadow, which is what I'm going for there. So you can see just kind of carrying it out from straight across there and you're getting a nice amount of like definition there on the outside. Then I'm gonna take a little bit more on my brush 
And just for blending purposes, I'm going to take this down just a little bit under the lash line and just kind of connect it right there in the outer corner. Just so it all really blends. And um, then I'm going to finish the under eye with some more of the uh, mystery shade that we used in the crease. And so that's basically gonna be like on our natural lash line, but I am gonna also use the Jet Set on my waterline. So I've gotta look down into my mirror, I'll be right okay, back. Okay, I've just got Jet Set now on my waterline and I'm taking some more of the mystery shade. It's like the mystery shade. <laughs> no, it, the name is actually mystery. And I'm just using an angled brush to sort of get like a smoky appearance to that shade on the lower lash line there. Now it's just a little detail brush. You could also use a Q-tip. Going back to that orange shade that was all over our lid, and I'm just getting a little more of that and putting it down around the tear duct area. Next I'm gonna curl my eyelashes and apply some of the Lash Stiletto Voluptuous Mascara to the top and bottom, and I'll join you with the finished look. All right, guys, this is the finished look. I hope you like it. It's really not too hard. It's got using kind of a wide combination of different products, but of course you don't have to use the exact same things I used. If you've got a shade that's similar or a liner that's similar, you can definitely use those colors. You don't have to use just what I did. But um, on my lips, I am using a couple different things. Gotta grab my lip gloss that I used here. Um, I used this Too Faced lipstick in Celebrity Meltdown. First off, the packaging is adorable here. Uh, and the lipstick is really unique. It kind of looks like kind of a dark color, but it actually has this really pretty, I don't, it may not show in this shot, but it has a really pretty like gold undertone that I like. So playing off of that, I used a gold lipstick or lip gloss. It's the Rimmel Vinyl Bronze in Golden Goddess. So it's kind of sheer, but over the top, I think it works and it just kind of really makes the lips pop. So uh, thanks again for watching everyone. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you soon.